Marian Villa es cofundadora y directora de Pioneras Dev Ever Social y Women in Tech. Además es asesora en UX UI de Google Launchpad. Con más de 10 años de experiencia en la creación y elaboración de experiencias digitales, nos hablará de productividad y equipos de trabajo remoto en el día a día. ¿Has logrado niveles de productividad óptimos y trabajar bien con tu equipo remoto? The New Normal llegó para quedarse y sé que eso implica un montón de retos, pero también grandes oportunidades. Las fronteras se abrieron y hoy tenemos la oportunidad de trabajar en inglés para equipos distribuidos en el mundo. Yo soy Marian Villa y soy tu profesora de productividad en Platzi. Esta charla es un esfuerzo conjunto entre la Escuela de Inglés y la Escuela de Desarrollo Profesional. Quiero decirte que estoy en Medellín, Colombia, donde inicié un proyecto que cofundé y soy la directora que se llama Pioneras Dev. Pioneras Dev es una comunidad latinoamericana creada desde acá, desde Colombia, para impactar toda nuestra región. Tenemos grandes referentes como Women Who Code, Rails Girls, P-Ladies y Django Girls, pero sabemos que nosotros también podemos tener una propuesta desde Colombia, desde Latinoamérica. Un gran desafío que tengo es poder compartir lo que hemos creado desde Colombia en español a todo el mundo y eso implica hacer ese cambio al inglés. Por eso quiero animarte a que empieces esta carrera, trates de entender que este idioma te puede abrir muchas puertas y te puede conectar con personas increíbles en todo el mundo. Empecemos. Hagamos una respiración profunda para iniciar esta, esta charla. Let's switch to English. So, teamwork plus rituals equals psychological safety. So, Google spent several years trying to figure out how to build effective teams. They found that trust is the key. But how to build trust when everyone is not in the same space? These companies had distributed teams around the world. Safer, Envision, Automatic, perhaps you use them in your daily basis. So how to build trust? The answer is create analogs to physical. In Rework, a platform that Google had all the research that they, they do this all these years, they figured out that it's not about the team, it's how the team work together. Yeah, I know it's a good answer, but how to build trust? You have all this, this question around your mind and the, the thing is you need to build emotional intelligence to create emotions work for you instead against you. So listen first, you need to be able to reach others and try to, to understand what they mean. Connect with them through empathy And when you, when you not only listen, if you understand their perspective and, and beyond listen, you try to understand what they really mean. This is called cognitive, cognitive empathy. So be real. Try to be yourself. And, and this, this means that you need to be authentic. Authenticity means saying what you mean, meaning what you say, and stick to your values and principles above all else. Take action, set the example. If you are, if you are trying to, to build trust with your team, you first need to back your words with actions. Be helpful. Trust is about a long game and help wherever and whenever you can. Jeff Bezos says that you need to support your team even if you are not agree with them. Try to support them and try to get with them uh, to, to, you, to the goal. Uh, people gain confidence and they need to experiment and they need to, to pursue their dreams. So encourage them. Be humble. And this means being yourself, but uh, stand with your principles and opinions, but try to recognize that this is a common effort and you are building a team. Identify, recognize, and praise those talents. You bring your best to them and in them. Thank you. When you are part of a team, you need to build company transparency. This means that sharing is caring and is crucial in your, with your teammates. So you need to share metrics, meanings, and more. 
Once you establish a set of tools that fulfill the working needs of the team, it's time to track metrics and initiatives that drive these goals by going through documented information and talking to teammates. Communicate is a must. Productivity is a huge word, and you can learn more here in my course in Platzi. But I know in the real world, it's like a big black hole when you need to figure out a lot of things. So the first rule that I like you to understand that is this word, deep work. Deep work is the rules for focused success in a distracted world. So when you are trying to, to think about a deep concentration, you need to figure it out that it's an habit, it's like flexing your teeth. So deep work is a skill, like playing guitar, and you shouldn't expect to be good at if you haven't been practicing. Trello Remote Working Rules is a great example about how companies are trying to figure out be productive in a remote and distributed team. First, assume remote. So you need to, to understand that the new normal is here and is here forever. So dedicate the space, office hours, and close this door. Dedicate childcare and family time and time, quality time with you. Had the proper tools to do your job done and over communicate. If you feel like you are over communicating, it's probably the right amount. They have an annual team's offsite that FaceTime is still very important to foster relationships. So build bounds with your team. An overlap team, this means that you have a schedule, try to fix them and try to, to attach to them. Meetings happen at this time and you don't need more meetings. Set clear boundaries, control your schedule, optimize your environment and get things done. The Art of Stress-Free Productivity is a book and I encourage you to read them and try to, to understand how David Allen uh, explained how you can achieve your goals. Set up your calendar and don't be overwhelmed for your meetings. Set healthy work-life boundaries. I recommend starting with a team agreement. Sit down and write how we're going to communicate, what will be the tools that we are going to use, and then declutter your physical and mental space. This means take the Marie Kondo inside you and it sparks joy. Then set an sticker routine. So get up in the morning and get the things done. Make time for yourself. Burnout exists and is real. Create communication work agreements. So what would be the spectrum response time with your team? And finally, become your best self. Puedes leer mucho más en estas fuentes que te dejo en estos slides. Aquí encontrarás mucha más información. Y finalmente, quiero agradecerte y desearte que nunca pares de aprender. Platzi es una gran plataforma y estaré súper feliz de responder todas tus preguntas sobre esta presentación aquí en mis redes sociales.